Kia ora, I'm David Chester with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news. There are worries the Aussie energy transition is falling short and they could face some tough choices as early as this summer. But first, US mortgage applications rose 2.3% last week from the prior week as mortgage interest rates held steady at a very high 7.3% plus points. It was their first rise in mortgage applications in six weeks, but doesn't really interrupt the lower track this market has been on. And the precursor report for the Saturday's non-farm powers report in the US, the ADP employment report, revealed 177,000 jobs gained by private employers in August. This was slightly less than the 195,000 expected. They said, with this level, it's consistent with the pace of job creation before the pandemic. After two years of exceptional gains tied to the recovery, they are moving towards more sustainable growth in pay and employment as the economic effects of the pandemic recede. 170,000 more jobs are expected for the non-farm payers report on Saturday New Zealand time. The second estimate of US second quarter economic growth was marked down slightly to an annualised 2.1% rate from the first estimate of 2.4% growth. In the first quarter, the growth rate was recorded as 2%. This latest markdown was because both consumers and government spent slightly less in the period than originally estimated. In China, things for Country Garden just get worse. They announced a gigantic loss today and warned of default. The country's overall property crisis seems to be deepening. And Japanese consumer confidence dipped marginally in August when a continued improvement was expected. Prior to July, it had risen for eight straight months. The dip, however, was minor. The German CPI inflation rate is proving stubbornly high, not continuing to fall as we saw in the January to April period. For four months now, it has held at 6.1% and a long way higher than policymakers need it to be. Other countries around it are reporting similar stories for August. This sticky inflation problem has investors betting that the ECB will raise rates again soon. Their next meeting is about in two weeks. In Australia, their energy regulator says that this summer could be hotter than normal and electricity demand higher than planned. Major stress looms for South Australia and Victoria. A hot dry summer with low wind, along with the failure to replace aging coal plants with clean power fast enough, could bring widespread blackouts at the time of heat stress. This is a far grimmer assessment of what lies ahead for them than their last review six months ago. The US Treasury 10-year yield will start today at 4.12%, unchanged from this time yesterday. And the price of gold will start today at $1,944 an ounce. That's up another $7 from yesterday. And oil prices are 50 cents higher at just on 81.50 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is now at $85 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar starts today fractionally firmer than yesterday at 59.7 US cents. Against the Aussie, we're unchanged at 92.1 Australian cents. Against the Euro, we're also a little changed at 54.7 Euro cents. That all means our trade weight index is still at 68.6. Get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, 